Hello and welcome to this series of video tutorials on establishing a WordPress.com blog for your classroom. Um, blogs have been around for quite a while now and they come in all shapes and sizes. They can be a very powerful tool for learning and just for communicating with your students or with the parents of your students or with fellow teachers or whatever you would like to do. You can certainly use them for any uh, information you want to share. You can see here that some freshly pressed, as they call them, uh, blogs about cookies, about movies, about the world's greatest grandmother. Um, I wanted to give you some sense of what you can look for in terms of what you could do with the blog. Now, right here, I have the blog that I created as part of this series. Very simple, just page right there. And there's not a lot of bells and whistles here. I don't have much in terms of an archive. I've only made the, I think, the one post here. I don't have categories and all that. But some other popular educational blogs, you have Cool Cat Teacher. Um, and this has a whole bunch of different resources with it. You can see that she's got some books and some freebies and all sorts of different um, things that you can look at. Um, another one that I've been watching a little bit more closely, so this is about education and how to work with students. This second one, I'm a biology teacher, and this is another biology teacher. As you can see, Miss Baker, um, at, up in the Northeast here, created this site and maintains it with her students, and they actually do posts here. You can see that she does some posts, and then some of the students do posts. Um, and so you can see it's a pretty dynamic page, and the kids get very into it, and it's a great way for them to process the information and to learn. And obviously this is open to the public. Again, that invites students to really put some thought into what they've been doing. Uh, and another one, just uh, another one favorite of mine that I watch, uh, look at now and then, is the Fishbowl, Carl Fish. This is more about education and not uh, so much it is for students in the end, but uh, more that educators and those interested in education will read. And you can see that he's got all sorts of posts that you can see off to the side here. That's what happens once you have a bunch of them. And some of his presentations, some of these are really interesting and uh, might be worth your time to look it up. Um, so as you go through this, I'm just going to run through the nuts and bolts of how to build the blog, how to write the post, how to get the account, and real basic stuff. With experience and over time, your, your own voice will evolve in your blog. And you can decide what it is you want to do with your blog. Is it for the students? Is it for yourself and your own learning? Uh, is it to share information with the world, sort of like the extreme biology blog? That's the beauty of blogs. Don't feel you have to fit a mold. Create the mold you want to fit. Uh, so that's a little bit of an introduction, and now you'll move on to registering and getting all of your blog information together and start blogging. All right, that's it. Thank you very much.